The cornerstone of the Love Science music sound is, is groove, without a doubt. You know, I, I wanted to make a record that incorporates, you know, all of the elements that that I cherish about music. Really deep groove and interesting melodies, interesting harmonies, and just a general creative spirit, you know, to to try things, to try things out, to try things that are new, to look for new sounds and, and not to be so concerned with trying to find that identifiable sound. You know, because I think really good new music is familiar, even if people haven't heard it before. Yeah, the reason I chose to use different vocalists for the project instead of one vocalist is that when I write music, I like to just follow what I hear. And that kind of can take me to different places stylistically. But the, the huge plus side to it is that you get, you know, the perfect person for each song, for each type of composition. I love how there are different flavors. You have your Afro beat. You have your Brazilian soul. You have your jazz flavor. You have everything. But at the same time, you're not like bouncing around. You know, you, there's this over, overall essence of soul, really, um, that connects everything together. It's an open conversation, you know? And I think that's really the most important thing with working with people is that you're having a conversation through music. And then you need to have a conversation as, as writers, as, as co-writers, as collaborators. And that's a, that's a skill. Every time you sent me a track, man, I was like, I can't wait to get in the studio and play on it. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah, we got Cole Williams, we got Jordan DeLovely, uh, Adam Minkoff, Melanie J.B. Charles, Richie Avio, uh, Fabiano Masili, Jorskin, Chidanya Baker, Kaleta, and Aki Bernis. All super talented New York based musicians, singers. The musicians on the project, there's probably about 20 or 25 different guys on the record. Um, the record was recorded here in New York City over the span of three years. And I'm also a recording and mix engineer, and I work at a couple studios in, in New York City. I work at Sweet Sounds Recording Studio and so on, and also Mercy Sound Recording Studios on the Lower East Side. Well, about three, four years ago, Josh and Jordan and I uh, started getting in on late nights and really trying to work out some new music and create a sound and really try to hone our craft. So, you know, it was, uh, the Love Science Music Record was a good chance to, to showcase that trio and the rhythm section and really show what we do. It's funny because we would, he would bring in these tracks. We might spend one evening. I'd never heard them before. We'd lay something down. Years would pass. <laughs> well, I'm kind of serious, but kind of joking, but serious. But no, he would go back to his lair and deconstruct and reconstruct and formulate and, you know, bend and burn and do all these crazy things and work with these vocalists and then reappear with these songs. I'm like, damn, I kind of remember doing that, but, but wow, what is that? That's crazy. That's us? We did that? And, it, you know, the final like view of the music the overall um outcome i guess to say was incredible like he had taken these ideas brought them to vocalists they had gone on and fully you know, or like continued the process of of creating and working it and then like all of a sudden we had these songs and i think it's a pretty unique songwriting process
for lyrics, uh, some of the songs were written entirely by the vocalists. A lot of the other songs, I had a, a general idea for a theme or, or even specific lyrics I wanted to deal with. Because it's, it's kind of strange when you write lyrics and then you give them to someone else to sing. Um, it's not always the most natural thing for a vocalist to do, so you have to either make sure that the lyrics they're given are like perfect, perfectly comfortable for them to talk about and to express, or they need to like kind of adapt them to themselves and to the song, which is kind of what we did. There was something unique about this process is that it was a constant back and forth you know we start with the, the groove and then the lyrics are added and then we might change you know he would change something up later to, to fit the new ideas that the vocalists were bringing in and then of course his um, mixing and production ideas would totally elevate it to a whole nother realm actually when we got into the studio that's when I felt like this is really gonna be a hot track because we, we were able to improvise and come up with stuff on the dome there, which I felt added a lot to the way it ended up. I'm really excited about, you know, now adapting the music to a live situation, and that's really the next chapter is, is, is taking it to the streets, and people are going to be going crazy over this stuff because it's hot and you need to know about it. You can look for Love Science Music, uh, the band performing live, playing songs off the record, and we have a core band of musicians that we use, and we feature different guest vocalists from the record and beyond. The Love Science Music show is always going to be different, it's always going to have something new to offer, um, which keeps it fresh for us and fresh for you. The band was able to, to uh, sort of mesh with each singer and, and, and meet them where they were at, and that's an awesome quality, so dope band. <laughs> As current artists, we rely on the fans to help spread the word about our music, to play it for friends, and to bring people to shows, and to share our links online, and you know, help us spread the word and help promote. Um, something that you believe is cool and that we believe is cool. So I guess we would ask that of you, the viewer, the, uh, the listener, if it's something that speaks to you, please uh, spread the word. Yeah.